Love and welcome to evening prayer for Tuesday of the 28th week of Ordinary Time. We're on page 358 tonight in our prayer books. O oh God, come to our assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. God, our shepherd, you led us and saved us in times of old. Do not forget your people in their troubles, but raise up your power to sustain the poor and helpless for the honor of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I cry out to God, yes, I shout, oh, that God would listen to me. When I was in deep trouble, I searched for the Lord. All night long I prayed with hands lifted toward heaven, but my soul was not comforted. I think of God and I moan, overwhelmed with longing for his help. You don't let me sleep. I am too distressed even to pray. I think of the good old days, long since ended. When my nights were filled with joyful songs, I search my soul and ponder the difference now. Has the Lord rejected me forever? Will he never again be kind to me? Is his unfailing love gone forever? Have his promises permanently failed? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he slammed the door on his compassion? I said, this is my fate. The Most High has turned his hand against me. But then I recall all you have done, O Lord. I remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. They are constantly in my thoughts. I cannot stop thinking about your mighty words. O oh God, your ways are holy. Is there any God as mighty as you? You are the God of great wonders. You demonstrate your awesome power among the nations. By your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When the Red Sea saw you, O oh God, its waters looked and trembled, the sea quaked to its very depths. The clouds poured down rain, the thunder rumbled in the sky, your arrows of lightning flashed. Your thunder roared from the whirlwind. Lightning lit up the world. 
the earth trembled and shook. Your road led through the sea, your pathway through the mighty waters, a pathway no one knew was there. You led your people along that road like a flock of sheep, with Moses and Aaron as their shepherds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From 1 John. See how very much our Father loves us, for he calls us his children, and that is what we are. But the people who belong to this world don't recognize that we are God's children because they don't know him. Dear friends, we are already God's children, but he has not yet shown us what we will be like when Christ appears, but we do know that we will be like him, for we will see him as he really is. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God, the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous deeds have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the evening we call to you, O Lord. Be merciful and hear our prayer. We plead for safety and cry out, Lord, be our refuge this night. We seek refuge from our terrors and cry out, Lord, be our strength this night. We beg for mercy and cry out, Lord, be our advocate this night. We beg for peace and cry out, Lord, be our hope this night. We need guidance and counsel and cry out, Lord, be our wisdom this night. We yearn for fulfillment and cry out, Lord, be our redemption this night. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from the evil one. Saving God, source of all life and fount of holiness, lead us through darkness, show us the path of light, and guide us in your righteousness now and forever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For it is you who will redeem me, O Lord, my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the peoples, 
a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. May souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Hail, Holy King, wellspring of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you we cry, banish children of Adam and Eve. To you we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O Mediator and Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile. Show us the glorious face of your Father. O clement, O loving, O sweet Savior, Jesus Christ.